Welcome everyone to a brand new show we're debuting tonight, College Football Game Night, the Longhorn Edition. It's an online game show putting your favorite Longhorn personalities in a battle of Texas football knowledge and wits. And I'm your host today, Blake Monroe, and let's introduce our players. And we'll start with Bobby Burton. Bobby, how are we feeling tonight? Uh, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good. I listened uh, to some uh, music to get me ready for this. I'm ready to go. <laughs> I didn't get dressed up like Jerry Hamilton, that's for sure. I was about to say, next up is the man that's dressed to kill, Jerry Hamilton. Jerry, you dress for the occasion, man. There ain't no doubt about that. Well, look, man, uh, Deion Sanders said, look good, feel good, play good. I'm going to do everything but the play good. Uh, but uh, I look good and I feel good. But look, I, you know, I get dressed up for three things, a wedding, Divorce court and Longhorn trivia. Okay, so that's it. <laughs> if I'm going to finish third in trivia, I got to be best dressed. There you go. And last but well not done. least, we have Rod Babers joining us. Rod, how you feeling going up against these two guys? Uh, man, I'm feeling all right. I like to compete, but uh, game shows and quiz and quiz games, that kind of stuff. I don't know if it's my thing, but hey, man, let's compete, baby. If I'm here. I'm here to win. Hey. No. It's first time for all of us, so so we'll see. Yeah. We'll see who's going to be victorious in the end. Hey, Blake, Blake there's a lot on the line. There's a lot on the line for Bobby tonight. Okay, just everybody <laughs> be clear about this. Hey, got it right here, Terry. Got it right there here. Does Bobby, does Bobby have to use it? All right, does he have to use it no. if he loses? <laughs> I have to read it. Oh man. Oh, man. Uh, All right, well, we're going to explain the, the format of, of how we're going to do this, guys. There's going to be three rounds or game segments. Each one is a different type of game. The players will accumulate points through each of the games. And, of course, whoever finishes with the most points after all rounds are complete is our college football game night champion. So with that said, if y'all are ready, let's get started with round one. Round one. And so in this segment, players are going to be given four hints describing a current or former Texas player or coach. Players will buzz in when they want to guess. Questions are going to be worth 100 points. If you miss, gentlemen, you will lose 100 points. Yeah. With that said, let's see hint number one. So it's who am I when a 12th man on the field is okay. Let's see hint number two. A stinging loss. And Bobby buzzes in. Bobby, what you got? I'm going to go Colt McCoy, 2008, Texas Tech. <laughs> so Colt McCoy is the correct answer. You win that one. Bobby got it right. 100 points for Bobby Burton. Nice, Bobby. Good job. Hey. <laughs> You know, the 12th man, you know, you got to you gotta look for that. That's pretty good. <laughs> That's right. I got, the, I got the jersey number. So, Bobby jumping out to the early lead. With that said, let's go to question number two. Let's see the first hint. A hero we don't deserve on fourth down. Hint number two. Austin City Nimitz. Oh, how do I block? How do I buzz? <laughs> buzz. We'll give you time to buzz. I don't have a buzz button. Click on the buzz button. Click on the buzz button. The play, the play thing. Or hit your space bar. Third hit. Hit your space bar, uh -huh. Jerry. What's my third hit? We waiting on Jerry. <laughs> I'm about to hit that. What's my third hit out here? Come on. Jerry, I might have to move on to the third hand while you figure it out. Hold on, hold on. Our producer's telling us no. Hold on. You have to be on the Streamer Showdown website. There, yes, Jerry. Streamer Showdown awesome. website there, Jerry. Hey, man. Hey, listen, it's a competition, <laughs> y'all. <laughs> I'm going to need you. Hey, Are you ready to buzz in yet? All right, here, man. <laughs> go, go ahead. I'll take a loss on this. 
There we go. Jerry, they buzzed in for you. <laughs> so, Jerry, we're going to let you answer this. Who you got? Uh, oh, it's, it's Michael Huff against USC. That is correct. <laughs> you oh, eventually got you there, go. Michael Huff. There Jerry got it right. 100 points. Okay, so let's move on to question number three and show us hint number one. Yes. Oh, let's go ahead and go through the rest of the hints. So we'll go to hint number three real quick. I'm sorry. Excuse me. So let Bear in his digit. And then hint number four. All right, I would have got on that one. See, that's good. That's good. I'll blank and puff and blow. Oh, it's nice. Path up. Oh, that would have been too easy. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right, we're going to move on. Mm. Okay. All right. So let's move on All to right. the next one here. Question number three. And show us hint number one. I listen to some hard country beats. Hint number two. They call me an outlandish performer. Hint number three. My laugh launched a thousand bow meaning. Oh, I try. What? 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 Hold up. And Rod buzzes on, in. What do you got for us, Rod? Okay, my laugh launched a thousand bowmen. Is it Tavondre Sweat? T Sweat. Let's see if that's correct. Oh, you got it right. Yeah. <laughs> 100 Good points for Rod. Rod. So we're on the board. Let's go. <laughs> and let's see that fourth and final hint. I'm a KD stand. So it's that always wasn't that easy, actually. That, that wasn't <laughs> you think that easy. so. You had to know that he was the one that laughed at Bo Davis on the bus, pretty much. Yeah. Hey, those, <laughs> are, great, hey, those are great clues. Performance. Those are great clues. Huntsville, Texas country guy. Yeah, it all makes sense. It does make <laughs> sense. You're right. <laughs> all right we're going to move on. On the outland. That's the yeah. outlandish. That's right. Oh, yes. Good job, Bobby. Good job. Yeah. You got it. Right, we're going to move on to the next question, guys. Show us hint number one. The price is eight for me. Hint number two. Pulling hair isn't just for cat fights. Hint number three. Prefers the graph. And the final hint, fellas. The holistic Heisman. Oh, give it to me. Rod buzzes in first. What do you got for us, Rod? Hey, that's Ricky v. Williams. <laughs> Is it Ricky Williams? <laughs> You got it right, Rod. Right. 100 points. Rod is now our me? leader. What where did that me? Was the price is eight, 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 eight for me? What is that? Well, what is that? Did you guys that one? Oh, eight, 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 eight picks. Yep. Oh, eight, eight picks in the draft for him. Oh, oh, oh that's good. That yeah. Was good. <laughs> I didn't even get that. Actually, I didn't even. I didn't even get the first one. I didn't get the first clue at all. <laughs> I, that was right <laughs> over my head. <laughs> it's all right. So, after the first four questions, Rod, you are the leader with 200 points. We're going to oh. move on to the fifth question now. And show us hint number one. Led the team in tackles. Hint number two. Half of a great Texas duo. And Jerry buzzes in. I thought Jerry would be the first one on this one. What you got for what? us, Jerry? Casey Hampton. Casey Hampton. That was good. Jerry got it right. 100 points nice. for Jerry. 
Tied for first with Rod. Let's see the hit number three. A baller from Galveston and hit number four. A man of steel. Yeah. Play for the Steelers. So, there you go. I, yep. I, Jerry, I thought you'd be the, the one to answer this one the, at first. So lo and behold, you are. I missed this. I got to go kill one. I'm just going to take my jacket off. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry's going to start sweating pretty soon, Jerry. You're going to be sweating, man. <laughs> I, yeah. If I don't start answering things right, I am. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to move on to the sixth question now and show us hint number one. An all-American hero. Hint number two. A Redskin times two. Jerry with the buzz. What do you got, Jerry? Man, I may, may lose some points here. I was going Brian or Akpo. Ooh. No, is it Brian Arakpo? Yeah. Good job. Oh, there you go. Jerry Hamilton got it right. Another 100 points. You take the lead now with 300 points. Let's go ahead and look at the other two hints here. Show us the third one. Good job, Jerry. The Nigerian nightmare for quarterbacks. And the fourth one, Life of Brian. So good guess there, Jerry. It paid off for you. You're now back in the lead. With 300 points, Rod with 200, Bobby with 100. So let's go to the next question now and show us hint number one. He has an official family. Show us hint number two. Best hands on his team. Hint number three. Prefers the yellow condiment. Bobby buzzes in first. Bijan, what you got for us, baby. Bobby Burton? Bijan, baby. Mustardson. <laughs> Bijan, oh, Let's that's see good. if it's Bijan. That's good. Good job. You got it right, Bobby. 100 points. Well done. <laughs> I figured y'all would get it on that one. Let's see the fourth and final hint. A Lambo-worthy smile. So, there we go. Yeah. Bijan John Robinson yeah. is the correct answer there, and we're going to move on to the next now. We have a two-way time for second place. Show us the first hint. Hint OU's ass. Show us hint number two. Made in Hong Kong. Uh, Gary buzzes in. Cameron Dicker. Is it Cameron Dicker? <laughs> Whoa, Jerry, with another correct wow, one. Jerry, <laughs> Jerry came to play, fellas. There's some Ray recruiting tied into these questions, which is good. It is. It is. I agree with that. Some recruiting tied in. Yeah, good stuff. Jerry, Jerry just literally just sna he snared. He, he's, got, he's won this first round now. Hey. Yeah, done. Yeah. All right, let's see hit number three. Remember, he can lose points on the next one, but let's see hit number three. Has a lot of fun at hockey games, which we all saw his viral moment not long ago. And then hit number four. Name rhymes with his position. So good stuff, Jerry. Sure. The kick. All right, so after eight questions, Jerry has a lead of 200 points with 400 total, and Bobby and Rod tied for second at 200. Let's go to the final question in this section. And show us the first hint. Started north of the border. Hint number two, please. Has a 24-carat appendage. And number three, quarterback number, oh, Rod came in quick as soon as he saw that one. Quarterback number three on the roster. Rod, what do you got? Uh Oh, now I'm a little confused, actually. I hope I don't get this wrong. Quarterback number three on the roster. Um, is, 
It's Quinn. Is it Quinn yours? Good one, Rod. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> I was a little confused about it. it, it that number three on Russ, I was like, number three, yeah, 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 okay. All right. Oh, uh, yeah, we're still off, though. <laughs> Great Here's job, it. though, Rod. <laughs> Let's see the fourth and final hint on that one. From mullet oh, to maturity. Okay. So that is the final question of that segment. Jerry, you're still in the lead with 400 points. Rod coming in second with 300 and Bobby with 200. So that's going to be the first round there. And guys, I just want to say if you're loving what you see so far, they're looking for sponsors for this show. So be sure to reach out to us. And if you'd like to support our efforts with making more episodes of that, we would love to hear from you and help with this absolutely amazing game show. With that said, guys, if y'all are ready for round two, we'll start round two. Let's do it. Let's go. Oh, man. All right, so. Round two. Ooh. <laughs> so this, uh, this one is called We Are Texas. So players have to guess how you, the Longhorn community, have answered the following survey questions. The most popular answer is going to be worth 300 points. The rest are going to be worth 100 points. Now, with that said, gentlemen, you only have two lives per question. We will keep playing until everyone runs out of lives, or, of course, we clear the board. And we'll go in order of players from least amount of points to most amount of points, starting with Bobby. So let's I, play We Are Texas. And I have the a, first question here. I have a question. Who is the, I have a question. Oh, go ahead. Yeah. No, go ahead, Bobby. I'm looking at who is the most hated player from a Texas rivalry standpoint. Is that is that going to be the is that the question? Is this mean a that Texas is correct? Player? Who is the most hated player from a Texas rivalry standpoint? I got it. Okay, so All Bobby, right. you get to go first here. I'm going with Kyler Murray. That's a good one. Do we have Kyler Murray? <laughs> Kyler Murray, hundred points, Bobby. Uh, do I keep going? Do yeah, keep no, going? Rod, you are going to be next. Who is the most hated player from a Texas rivalry standpoint? And it's a player. Can it? So it's a player, not a coach. Can I go coach? Is that possible? Or we all play? Player. All player. Player only. Uh, all right, player only. How about mm, hate it? Maybe Adrian Peterson. Do we have Adrian Peterson? Wow, I'm a little shocked to see that one on there, but you got it right, Rod. 100 points for you. And then, Jerry, you're going to be next. Brian Bosworth. That's Brian funny. Bosworth. Do we have him on the board? Got it right there. Right? <laughs> so we're going to go back to Bobby now. Bobby, who's the most hated player from a Texas rivalry standpoint? I'm going to go with Michael Crabtree. Damn, that's good. Show me Michael Crabtree. Nice. Right. Points there for Bobby. Got it right. Rod, we're going back to you now. We still need four more. Yeah, that's good. Um, let me. Uh, I can't believe neither, none of y'all have gotten the number one one yet. I know. That's tough. That's what I'm trying to think. Like, man, who's more hated than that? Uh, I just, really can't believe it. Okay. Yeah, let's go with is that a, a Roy Williams on there? Oklahoma's uh, Roy Williams. Go me, Roy nice. Williams. That was a good one. Oh, 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 oh good oh, enough oh. though, Jerry. Rod. No Roy Williams. I'm sorry. All right, Jerry, we're going back to you. Most hated player from a Texas rivalry standpoint. Um, let's see. Ooh, this is tough. This is tough. It is tough. Rhett Bomar. Don't be cheating. No looking at the chat or anything like that. <laughs> Who you got, Jerry? Rhett Bomar. Do we have Rhett Bomar? Oh, no, we don't. I'm sorry. All right, Bobby, back to you. We still have four players. 
I need you to guess why one of I, them. Hmm. Why? Should be easy. So I, uh, I'm thinking of oh, you guys. Um, there's one I cannot believe y'all haven't said yet. Yeah, I, I, I'm thinking, hold on a second. I'm going to go, oh, jeez. Baker Mayfield. Oh, yep. Show me That's Baker it. Mayfield. Number one. Number one. There we yep. go. No, no, no. 300 <laughs> points. That was the number one answer in the survey. I, and with that I one, not, Bobby jumps back into the lead. I could not oh, remember good. who preceded Kyler Murray. I kept going <laughs> to somebody else. I'm like, that's not who I'm trying to think about. That's how forgetful that's he crazy. is to me. Let's just be clear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So, Rod, we're going back to you now. We End still have three, three players. Rounds. You have one life left. Who do you have, Rod? Hmm. Yeah, maybe I'm thinking about Texas, Oklahoma, Texas A&M and Oklahoma too much. I'm gonna take a flyer here. Um, what about uh, RG three? Do we have RG three? Robert Griffin the third. Oh, Ooh. and yeah. with that one, Rod, you are out of this particular question. So, Jerry, you have one life to spare. Who you got? Teddy Layman. Ooh. Eddie Lehman. Do we have Eddie Lehman on the board? Eddie. Eddie Lehman. Eddie. Eddie. Oh, Teddy. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Teddy Lehman. Yes, we do. 100 points for you, Jerry. <laughs> so, Bobby, there's still two more. Who you got? Interesting. No A&M players on here so far, right? There might be. I'm going to go with Sam Bradford. I'm going to stick Show with Show me OU. Sam Bradford. Good one. Good job. Oh, he's killing it. Yeah, All right, Jerry, you have one life left. There's one spot left. Fill that spot. Man, that's tough. Um, Josh Heupel. Show me Josh Heupel. That's a good one, though, Jerry. And remember, this is what we remember. We pulled all the on Texas football listeners, message board members out there, watchers, whatever you want to say. And these are their answers. With that said, Bobby, you have a chance to really one up the competition here with another 100 points if you can get the last one. I'm going to go. I'm going to first one I'm going to try is Graham Harrell. Show me Graham Harrell. Got one game. life to live. One more guess. It's Bobby's Who favorite else? soap opera. It is. One <laughs> life to live. <laughs> I mean, look, I could go with Cliff Kingsbury here, I think, but that's not. I mean, Texas beat him. Mahomes, I mean, uh, we lost to Cliffy in two in two thousand two, oh two. Did you? Remember? Yeah. Yeah, down in love him and Wes Welker. Is there a running back? There's not a running back. You mentioned Jerry mentioned Roy Williams at DB. Uh, Tommy Harris. Somebody Show like me that. Tommy Harris. I tried. Uh. Well, y'all can't yeah. close. Yeah. No cigar on filling up the board. Let's see that final answer. Reggie McNeil. Oh. Johnny Never played him. Never played him. Never, Never played, played him. him. Never played him. Hey, hey. No, say, you can't take your argument up with me. Him. You got to take it up with the fans. That's these are their answers, not mine. <laughs> you never played Johnny. I was gonna say Johnny, but you never played Johnny. You still uh, that makes sense. He was the fifth most popular answer when no Texas fans were polled this question. Come on, guys. <laughs> so, all right, so let, let's take a look at the leaderboard. J Bobby went from worst to first now with 800 points. Jerry sitting in second place with 600 and Rod with 400. So with that said, we're going to move on to the next one here. And the question oh is, from the 20 
23 Longhorns roster, who would you want by your side in a bar uh-huh. fight? And remember, we're going to start oh, with yeah. the lower score and then work our way back up. So, Rod, you are first. Oh, man, I know it's one of these two guys at the top. I just don't know which one's at the top. I'm going to go with T-Swizzle. I'll go with T-Sweat. That's easy. Show me Devondre Sweat. Got it right, 100 points. Not the top answer, but a popular answer nonetheless. Jerry, you're next. Oh, it's Byron Murphy, number one. Byron Murphy. Byron Murphy. And Jerry nails the top spot. 300 points. Takes the lead with that answer. Now, Bobby, you have a chance to come back, though, and tie first place. Who do you you have? DJ Campbell. Show me DJ Campbell. DJ Campbell is correct. Bobby, you got it right. That's 100 points for you. So you're back tied for first with Jerry. And uh, Rod, we are back to you now. We're still looking for five other names. Mm, bar fight. Uh, I guess we're looking for big guys with size. How about Kelvin Banks? See on there? Good one. Do we have Kelvin Banks on there? Rod got it That's right. Cool. 100 points. Good job there, Rod. I'm a little surprised by this. Kelvin Banks a little low. I think people think that Kelvin Banks is like he has a calm demeanor, that he's, you know, kind of calm and cool and collected, uh, that he wouldn't be enraged and uh, get into a bar fight, almost like too intellectual to get into a bar fight. But I think he I think he would he would hold his own if he had to. <laughs> hey, yeah. And, and the sixth sure. most popular choice there, it looks like. So all right, Jerry, mm. you are next. Golly, this is tough. Um, hmm. So it's what was pulled to the, the fan base. Yes, yeah. that is correct. These are all answers by our On Texas Football community. Ooh, okay. I think I got my well, name. then Anthony Hill will be on there. Show me Anthony Hill. Got it I- correct, Jerry. Back in the lead. But... Bobby, you have a chance to tie it back up once again. We're still looking for three answers, all three of you with two lives still. We should fill this one up, I believe. I hope, anyway. Jalen Ford. Jalen Ford. Jalen Ford. Show me Jalen Ford. Ah! Well, we did all have two lives, anyway. I thought that was good because he obviously has short arms, powerful punch. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I, I like your reasoning. Unfortunately, the on Texas football community did not see it that way. So, Rod, we are heading back over to you. Who would you want by your side in a bar fight from the 23 Longhorns roster? I know. That's somebody I'm thinking, but I don't know if the fans would be thinking like that. Um, is JT Sanders on there? JT, like you know this on man. JT's kind of thick. Is JT on there? I like it. I like it. Show me JT Sanders. The community wow. did not agree with you there, Rod. I did wow. like the choice myself. I thought it was a good pick. I'm a little surprised, but it is what it is. All right, Jerry, going back to you. Mm, man. Um, mm, scrappy. Tough. Baltimore, Maryland. Keelan Robinson. <laughs> Show me. Oh, man. <laughs> Rod makes, I can't even say it. Rod makes me laugh. Show me Keelan Robinson. I, I thought Jerry's that was coming. Jerry's taking pity on us now. <laughs> Jerry's taking pity on us now, man. He's, he's man, controlling us now. That's what's going on here, man. Jerry's I'm trying to figure this out. I'm trying to figure out this stuff out because it, like, you can't just go all offensive and defensive line, can you? That's, that's, I All think right. that's what I'm they're doing. Going, I, I don't want a bar fight, but I don't know that he's going to beat. I, he's just he'll, he'll be by your side. That's Jordan Whittington. That's Show me Jordan Whittington. That's good. That's all in there. Oh, oh, not good enough. I like that answer. Though. Oh, I like that Time answer. For the I like that answer. <laughs> I don't know. I, I think that was a I'm good answer. You. But I like your. 
I like your rationale. It's like, no, he's the oh, he carries the torch for the culture. So he's going yeah. to be down to the last man, last man standing. I'm gonna go I, I liked it too. However, Bobby, you have eliminated yourself from this <laughs> question. So we are going back over to Rod now. And we still have three spots and two lives between you and Jerry. So let's see what you got, Rod. Okay. All right. Bar fight here from the 2023 team. <clears throat> um, I mean, this guy gets swole. So I wonder if Longhorn fans are recognizing how swole he is. How about Baron Sorrell? I like how, it. Show up. me the Baron Sorrell. Oof. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jerry, the good news is yeah. your uh, opponents are out. The bad news is you have one life, but you do have a chance yeah, to extend go, your lead. I can go on a run here, and Rodney Terry couldn't call timeout. This is great. Um, let's see. Um, <laughs> uh, you got it. Uh, let's see. Ethan Burke. That's Show me Ethan Burke. Oh, what? You had hey, the chance to take that. Did they go with Cam Williams? What about Cam Williams, guys? Like, did people know him well enough? I, I, I tell you what, we're gonna we're gonna start here from the very top and Peyton show us that first dance. Cam Williams. Yeah, there you go, Bobby. You're right, Bobby. <laughs> All right, show hey. us the second answer. Save you on oh, red. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We all we all agree with that, do we not? That would have been Joyce's first answer. <laughs> and then last but not least, we have Neto. All right. So, yeah. yeah. That was, you yeah. You had a chance, Jerry. You had a chance to really step on Bobby's throat, and you just uh, let it slip in between your fingertips, man. I just, I just uh, turned so it over in the red zone. <laughs> After uh, that, that one, Jerry, you still are in the lead, however, with 1,000 points. Bobby, you have 900, and Rod with 600. So we're going to move on to the next one now. And the question is, what is the biggest Texas football what if of all time, Rod? You get to start this one. Oh, yeah, that's pretty easy. What if Colt didn't get hurt yeah. in the national title game? Show me Colt McCoy's shoulder injury in the national championship against Alabama. Yeah. And oh, 300 way. points. Great answer there, Rod. Great answer. So we're going to go over to Bobby now. Gideon's interception. Gideon's Ooh. interception against Texas Tech. Oh, that's good. Show me Gideon's interception against Texas Tech. Bobby got it right. 100 points there Bobby. for Bobby Burton. So, Jerry, what's the biggest Texas what if? Texas tackles Michael Crabtree. I like oh. it. Show me Texas tackling Michael Crabtree. What? I'm shocked. I oh, love. am shocked. I think we or all Michael are. Michael Crabtree doesn't score, maybe, but it's one of the two. Yeah. Oh well. No, I am completely shocked. That makes me I wonder if I can too. Re, uh, redo that. Wow, oh boy! Rod, you're all right, Rod, we're gonna go back to you. <laughs> Biggest what if? Oh man! Biggest what if? What if Nick Saban came to Texas? Oh. <laughs> I like it. What if Nick right. Saban came to, to Texas? Time, multiple times. Good one. Great. Bam, the oh, second man. most popular answer. You've gotten two of the most popular three. Right. They're a great job, Rod. Bobby, we're going to head back over to you now. All of you tied up with 1,000 points. Man. What if Texas takes any one of, like, six quarterbacks over a 10-year period? <laughs> Tell me what if Texas takes any of them, about six quarterbacks. That's, that's I mean, any of them. Oh, goodness. 
Johnny Manziel. Wow. If Texas would have taken Apparently, Johnny you're telling me, Manziel. the producers are telling me, Bobby, they need you to be a little more specific. I'll say Johnny Manziel would be a Longhorn. Johnny Manziel, do we have that on the board? Oh. Hey. Heartbroken. Is you lost. This is a Taylor. tough one. This is a tough one. All right, Jerry, going out. back over to you. Your time to shine. Let's see what you got. Man. Um, mm. Mm. I mean, I guess what if Texas had beaten Texas Tech? In 08. What if Texas had beaten Texas Tech in 2008? I guess that was technically 07. Mm. So, uh, you're out of this one. This is y'all's chance to step on Jerry's throat. Rod, we're going to start with you. And you have two lives left. You've been doing great so far. This has been your game right here, Rod. Yeah, this is what you do in sports radio, though. This is that's why I know sports radio. This is all we talk about. What if this happened? What if that happened? That's that's, all, that's why I got to look up on these guys here. Um, what if Chris Sims redshirted? What if Chris Sims redshirted? Do we have it on the board? I might get a heart for that one. Mm. That was a good one, though. Uh, yeah. That was a good one. The on Texas football community did not agree, however. So we're going to go back <laughs> over to Bobby. <laughs> So I'm between two answers here, and I can't. I don't want to give the other one away. Um, what if Texas would have taken Andrew Luck? I'll go with Andrew Luck instead of. Show me Andrew Luck. Damn, Andrew Andrew Luck. Andrew Luck. Texas, 100 points. You live you know for one? another question here, Rod. We're going to go back to you first. However, what's the biggest what man, if? That's, good. that's a that's good, man. Honestly, I might. I don't think there's two answers I want to go with here, but I'm pulling stuff from my day, and it seems like these the the fans are not necessarily hearkening back to to my day in terms of the what ifs. Seems like they're a little bit more current with their what ifs because I want to go back to some stuff from my time. But I think that's wrong. I'm gonna go with I think Bobby's on the right track here. Um, what if um what if RG three comes to Texas? Do we have Robert Griffin coming to Texas? Oh, we do not. I'm out. I have Bobby. Okay. You have one life left in this game. We need four answers. Can you do it? What if Sark not hired? Oh. Oh, I should have went with What one. if Sark is not hired? Oh. 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 I, I think I think it's on there. Like, yeah. <laughs> Was it Herbert? So I, I got to say, I'm, I'm just as curious as y'all to know the next four. So let's start at the bottom row or the bottom there on the left side. What what answer do we have? Curry. Oh, good. The good. Goal yeah, that's a good one. Well, that's, yeah. That's a national championship. I, is what that I wasn't going to get yep. that one anyway. Let's go back up to the top here. Yeah. Adrian Peterson. Ah. For Texas. That was a good one. <laughs> that was a good one. And then second to last answer. Vince oh, yeah. Here. How did we miss that one? Yeah. <laughs> and then last but not least. Don't run into uh, the kicker oh, against Colorado. Oh I was going to bring that one up. I was going to say, what if we beat Colorado in the game? But I wasn't going to get specific about my man, Philip Geiger, running into the damn kicker. We got to do it. But I threw him under the bus anyway. Sorry, Philip. <laughs> Odds out for the rest of the co contest with PTSD. Oh, man, you're right, Gary. I was really going to go. That's why I said I'm not pulling stuff from my day. I was going to go to 2001. And I was going to go to, I was going to go, what if he started said B from the beginning? Remember, he set said yeah. B to after the uh, Texas OU game. And then said B still rushes yeah. for 1,000 yards. And then think about it, in that game, said B got hurt. Mike Williams got hurt. We had two first and round guys get knocked out of the game. That, yes, that should have been the what if, guys. What if our two first round offensive players didn't get knocked out of the damn game? Then concuss each other. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's good stuff. Man. That was good. Hey, by the way, well, that was good stuff. All right, we're gonna move that's on. A lot of 
that's got to be the only time in history of college football two first round picks knock themselves out on the same play on the same team ever. That's never hey. happened before. It'll never <laughs> happen again. I, hey, I, I crazy wait, about it is, remember, they, do you not do ahead. you remember the play in the in the uh, Rose Bowl where I think it was Terrell Brown and uh, Michael Griffin? Michael Griffin. Griffin. Yeah. Yeah, I, oh, yeah, I remember that. I was like, oh, boy, they're going to have to defend this. And, and because this USC stuff. scored on that play. Yeah, Dwayne Jarrett yeah. did. Yeah. And, Long and Longhorn fans will always blame Chris Sims for Mike Williams and Sid Benson knocking yeah. themselves out of the game because they yeah. were chasing down a guy who had just gotten yeah. an interception. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all. So at the end of two of our three game segments, it is neck and neck. Bobby with a very narrow lead with 1,100 points. Jerry and Rod nipping at the heels, tied for second with 1,000 apiece. This Mm. is anybody's game here. So let's start the final rounds. Round three. All right. All right, so this one is time capsule, gentlemen. This is the, like I said, the final round. In this game, we've taken snapshots from some iconic moments in Texas history. Y'all are going to be shown these snapshots, but the pictures will be very, very zoomed in, and they will slowly zoom out. You guys must ring in and guess what moment these pictures are from. This is the one where you must include the year. That is very important. Got to have the year correct. Are you questions will be worth 300 points. However, if you miss it, you will be penalized 300 points. You can only buzz once per per photo. And this is the final round. So these points most likely going to determine the champion. So with that said, guys, let's play the game and time capsule. We are going to start here with our first photo. Jerry buzzed in. Oh, that was all three of you. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Jerry got the uh-huh. first, though. Jerry, what do you got for us? Uh, Rose Bowl win over USC in 2006. That, let's see if that is correct. <laughs> Jerry got it right. Lynch Young in the Rose Bowl, 2006. 300 points for Jerry. Jerry retakes the lead with that one. So we will move on to the second one now. Or actually, let's let's zoom. Oh, I thought they may want to zoom out and, and see the entire photo. But there we go. There we go. Iconic moment in Texas history for sure. All right, we'll go to the second question now. And let's start that photo. Bobby, what do you got for us? 2023. And you, you cut out for honest. What, what is Sweat's it? Catch. Of Andre Sweat's catch. Is in it Heisman Andre Post. Sweat's catch in 2023? All right. Yep, good stuff. That's it. That is correct. Bobby with 300 points. If they'll, if we can see that photo there. Definitely another iconic moment. 12 championship against Oklahoma State. The big man touchdown. All right. So with that said, Bobby retakes the lead with 1,400 points. Jerry with 1,300. And Rod with 1,000. And we're going to move on to number three. Let's see that photo. <laughs> Bobby, it was very quick on that one as well. What do you got for us, Bobby? 1969, Richard Nixon shootout game over Arkansas, awarding the championship to the national championship to Texas. And Daryl, yeah, that was a very right. specific. Is it correct? Yeah. <laughs> Bobby got it right. 300 points. Good stuff, Bobby. And we'll see that photo real quick. 
It went black and white, guys. There's only so much I know in black and white. These days. <laughs> I felt like Bobby was gonna was gonna nail that one pretty early on, and he didn't let me down for sure. So, all right, we're gonna move on to question number four now, or photo number four, I guess I should say. Rod. Oh, that was a very quick, all of you at the same time, but Rod, just a second ahead. Rod, what do you got for us? Uh, this is uh, Bevo um, going after Ugga um, after the 20, I'm oh, sorry, before, excuse me, the 2018 Sugar Bowl. But, but is, it is that correct? Oh! Oh! Yeah, Jerry? Rod's right. The Sugar Bowl's played in 2019, technicality. I know Is I that said correct? 2019 after I said 2018, so. Jerry got it right. 300 points. Oh, Rod, on a, as Jerry said, on a technicality. Just so you know, Rod, I'm not deciding who's correct and who's not. Bobby was by the way, by the way um, Attack uh, Uggas, they break in a new Ugga in Austin next year for another butt kicking. All right, keep going. Oh, right, so Bobby wow. was 1700, Jerry was 1600, and Rod was 700. Still anybody's game, as we have a few more left, and each one's worth 300. So let's go to the next photo. Rod buzzed in first. What do you got for us, Rod? Is this Stony Clark goal line stand 1994? Is this Stony Clark goal line stand 1994? Nice, Rod. I got it right. I'm glad you got that. I was going to guess 95. I'm glad you got that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good job there, Rod. We're going to move on to the next. We still have two left, gentlemen. And show White us. White jerseys in even, even years, Jerry. White jerseys in the even years. Good point. Good point oh, that's good to know. Good stuff. Okay. Gary Hamilton, you buzzed in first. What do you have? Mm. Earl Campbell, mm -hmm. Heisman Memorial Trophy speech, 1977. Is he correct with Earl Campbell's Heisman in 77? Yeah. If you got it right, three out of points. You take the lead with that one. And gentlemen, we are down to the final question here. Jerry with 1,900, Bobby with 1,700, Rod with 1,000. And uh, we will see this final photo now. Ah. Bobby, you buzzed in first. Uh, we put it on the on the last second. Dustin Tucker, field goal win, two thousand and thirteen against Texas. Is it Justin Tucker field goal win, two thousand thirteen? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Oh, I missed it! Oh, oh you missed it! Yeah. Oh, Bobby no. gets it. Wrong negative. 300 points. Oh. Bobby's beside himself, kicking himself right now. So next Ooh. that buzzed in was Man. Rod. Wow. Uh, oh, this is so Justin, Justin, Tucker. Justin Tucker game winning field goal 2011 against San Antonio. Oh, is it Justin Tucker in 2011? Oh. Oh. 
Hello, Rod gets it right and a chance of redemption all here himself. <laughs> Justin like, Tucker, I was, I was actually, I was, I was on the sideline for that game. That's how I remember. I'm somewhere on the background there. Somewhere is me back there. I'm like, I know the random girl on the sideline when they won too. I like randomly embraced this random girl. We were both just, we hugged for like 30 seconds. I didn't even know her. Never, never met her in my life. Haven't seen her since. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So with that final question and with oh, 1,900 God. points, the sharp dressed man himself, Jerry Hamilton, it is your winner. Jerry, we need to, we need to hear the winning speech, please. Yeah, I mean, look, I'm not, I, I'm, I'm the third best going in this game. I got, I got lucky tonight for sure. Um, you know, maybe the suit brought it home. I don't know. But I would like to thank the Academy for all their support over the years. Um, I'd like to thank the Riders, Green Guild, uh, and everybody out there in L.A. for making this happen. Thank you. I, I was hoping it wasn't going, to, wasn't going to get too long. I was going to have a play uh, and you I would like to thank for bringing us next week's read. Uh -oh. <laughs> All right, so Jerry Hamilton, our big winner from our first game night there. And um, guys, let's, let's just start. I'm going to let you all talk a little bit about what your, your performance and your opponent's performances. Rod, I'm going to start with you. Um, yeah, I thought I, I thought I did pretty good. I think or I started, got to a slow start. I think I had to dig myself out of a hole for most of the game. And then, you know, obviously the, uh, the sugar bowl answer put me at a deficit as well. I mean, I knew it was in 2019 said that, but I said 2018 first. So I got to get used to it. I got to use the format a little bit, but, uh, I actually thought, you know, I did pretty good. Bobby's got a big advantage on the, the black and white photos on everybody. Um, Jerry's got a big advantage. Jerry's recruiting knowledge is so, you know, ex expansive, right? Uh, he had so much knowledge when it comes to recruiting that he got upper hand on everybody early. Some of the hints had recruiting ties. Yes. My man Jerry jumped up on him real quick. So I think Jerry started out hot and he never really cooled off. He, he was consistently, I think he deserved to win because he was the most consistent and he started fast and he finished strong. All right. Bobby, what do you have to say for yourself? I can't believe I was sitting there thinking it's been 13 years and I said 2013. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's what I'm thinking right now. And now I'm going to rue the day tomorrow when I have to talk about something that I don't ever want to talk about. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> of. No, I, I, Jay, I, I got to ask, when you heard him say that year, just how giddy were you on the inside? I... Are you talking to me or are you talking to Jerry? And no, I, asked, I, I don't think, I don't think, I'm sorry. I, I don't think Jerry heard me. I said, Jerry, when, uh, when you heard him say the wrong year, how giddy were you on the inside? Well, uh, good for a second, but I thought it was 2012. So, you know, glad it wasn't me either. I don't <laughs> <laughs> I, I, like I said, I remember, I remember the year. <laughs> yeah, I remember because I was on the sideline. It's the only reason I got it right on the money. And I remember Johnny has his breakout year in 2012, the year uh, right after they played. You that, know what I right? remember also about that year? That's the year that Billy Lucci was on the sidelines and got caught on the TV camera yelling at the <laughs> rest of the whole crowd. Remember that, Ron? It turned into a pretty funny. I think you're right about that. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> Oh, man. Well, it was fun, fellas. A lot of fun for sure. We'll have to definitely do some more of these. Yeah. I got to give a uh, shout out to Chris Chan and the Visual Courts for partnering with us at On Texas Football to bring us this awesome game show to our Longhorn family. Thank you to the On Texas Football community for being a part of this by answering the surveys. And thank you guys for watching for sure. Like I said, we want to start doing more of these, but uh, if, if you know anybody you'd like to sponsor, if you'd like to sponsor yourself, you can reach out to Bobby. Uh, if you're definitely interested in doing so. So, gentlemen, before we get out of here, any parting words? No, best man won. Fair, fair guy. I thought the questions were really good, too, by the way. I thought they were well they done. Were the questions, questions. All that. I yeah, like awesome. the format. It's fun. I actually learned something. It was great. Oh, that's always good. <laughs> It's always a plus. I, 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 All right, y'all. Well, thank you so much for watching and tuning in, and we will see you next time on College Football Game Night, Longhorn Edition. Welcome, guys. Welcome.